Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Uh, it's not a real big uh, release week when it comes to uh, this week right now. Uh, as I see on this uh, website I go to, uh, Blu-ray.com, there's some cool stuff that's being released today, but I don't think all of it's going to be like in stores. You see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of like really cool stuff, but coming from like those, you know. Uh, Premier companies, you know what I mean, like Aero Video coming out with American Werewolf in London. Uh, you know, the Godzilla collections coming out today, along with the collector's edition of the Blob. These two we might see uh, in the stores today: The Wizard of Oz and uh, how's it called? Uh, one, it's a Wonderful Life on 4K. Uh, and I believe there's even like a steelbook edition of it somewhere out there. But it's like mostly like you know catalog titles uh, that are being released today. But we're going to be heading on out, seeing what we can find today. And uh, stay tuned to the end of this video for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Well, guys, at my first destination of the day, Goodwill. Let's head up in there and uh, see if they have any goodies. Well, guys, just got in here. I've only been here for a few moments now. Just trying to see if there's anything new, you know, from the last time I was in here. Uh, you don't normally see a lot of Disney stuff, but Jungle Book 2 uh, is up in here. How much is that going for? Like three bucks or something like that. Um, not a whole... You know, heap of stuff. It looks like a lot of, like, you know, semi-generic stuff, like, you know, the Harry Potters. Uh, Be Kind Rewind's a good one if you guys have ever uh, seen that flick, man. I, I used to work at Blockbuster Video at the time this film, this movie came out, and I was trying to recommend it to people, but people weren't having it. You know what I mean? They're like, they're like I don't get it, I don't care, you know, kind of thing. And also, um, for you guys who don't know, I know it's old news. But if anyone's ever seen Good Will Hunting, did you guys know that uh, Kevin Smith actually was one of the producers, you know, on this movie? No, no. The same guy did Clerks, helped produce this one right here. And if it wasn't for him, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon wouldn't uh, probably have, uh, you know, got this movie made. You know, if you guys didn't already know that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to look around and see if I find anything uh, else cool in here. They have the Wizards of Waverly Place. My friend Josh Sussman, I believe, is uh, you know, in, in this show. I haven't seen an episode in my life uh, of this, but I, I heard I heard you know mixed things. If, especially if you're like you know into like was it like early 2000s, uh, you know, kid shows. Yeah, they're everywhere. But guys, I also came across the first season of The Jeffersons right here. One of one of my one of my favorite shows uh, from back in the day. I wish, of course, I wasn't around when it was airing. I was like a little kid and stuff. But like Jeffersons and Good Times and uh, Sanford and Son were like so, some of my favorites. I when when I first found out about these shows uh, when they were coming out on DVD and stuff. But Weezy. But no, I love that right there. I already I already have all those ones. But they also have this, I believe. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of edition this is of a uh, city hunter, but this is this is kind of a kind of uh, you know unusual to see of uh, a Jackie Chan flick at least in this kind of edition uh, you know at a Goodwill you don't come across that too often, but sad to say I got that on Blu-ray. Well, not a whole lot newer, really anything that much different uh, over here in Goodwill today, but it's okay. I just had to stop by just to see if there was going to be anything cool. There's like not really any Blu-rays in there whatsoever. All right, guys, at my next and last destination of the day, Best Buy, baby. So when it comes to when it comes to Best Buy today, uh, I got this email uh, the other day with like Best Buy like mystery certificates. Uh, it's like it, I can I can get anywhere between five to five thousand uh, dollars worth of certificate money uh, to Best Buy. I don't know if you guys got it too, but guys, let's head on in the Best Buy and see what my mystery certificate is. If it's five or five thousand dollars. Well, guys, in Best Buy right now, taking a look at some of the new releases that they have, and they look like they came out with a good amount of steel books uh, right here, like the John Wick limited edition steel book. But this one features all three films uh, from the you know the, the trilogy of the of the Wick, uh, if you know what I mean. And these are all um, on 4K. Uh, right here. That's a nice looking steelbook. Walmart came out with one recently uh, for I believe number one if I'm not mistaken. Aquaman came out with a Best Buy exclusive steelbook today. Uh, I thought this movie was okay. I don't thought I don't think it was bad. It's one of the better uh, you know DC movies that I've seen of recent times. You know not, not, nothing super amazing. These ones right here came out last time but we also got the Wizard of Oz that came out for the first time on uh, 4k and they're even getting you know the best. Uh, no, I don't know. I even know. If, I don't know if this is a, an exclusive steel book because it doesn't say it on there. But uh, you know, this, this. I don't know. I like this one with her sitting, you know, laying in the poppies. 
you know, I don't know. And I got a chance to actually see this movie uh, in theaters this weekend, uh, this past weekend, when I was with, Aaron, you know, hanging out with my buddy Aaron. You know, when I got my house got evacuated due to the fires, and it was cool to see it in Dolby Vision and like a big, you know, big, you know, big screen. You know, I have never seen it uh, in the theaters before, and that was a really cool uh, experience to to watch a classic like this on the big screen. Oh, and I just checked the certificate on that paper I had. It's anywhere between five to five thousand dollars. Mine, five dollars. Oh well, that's okay. At least it was. It's better than nothing. But some of the other stuff that came out today that they got is Batman Beyond, the complete series right here. It's a it's a thicker thing. It's about eighty dollars uh, right here, and it comes with a a limited edition toy inside. Is that like a like a pop vinyl? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Batman Beyond, uh, but that that was released today. Best Buy only has one copy of that. And they have this like movie or mini series, I don't know, first season of Warrior. And it says it's based on the writings of Bruce Lee, like his philosophy or something. I've never heard or seen this. Let me know down below. Is this worth watching? Look, is this an HBO show or Cinemax or something like that? Let me know down below. Is this, has anyone seen this? I've never heard about that until right now, until right this second. And also, there's some new steelbooks here too uh, Christmas Story. Uh, steel book. I don't know. I think this is like just like a new cover, uh, but still a steel book form. I've always loved the the vacation movies. Um, What's it called? Ve Vegas Vacation being my favorite one uh, of uh, of the bunch. To be honest, we got we get a new Elf Best Buy exclusive steel book right here. That's pretty cool. Always loved that movie. But this one they always release every year. Just change up the covers and <laughs> things like that. But of course, you know we got that. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life uh, being released today. Getting out of Best Buy right now, not picking up anything today. I did get a review copy of, um, you know, The Wizard of Oz, you know, a, a week or so ago, so I don't really need to get up on that one. But uh, maybe next week, maybe next week there'll be some really cool stuff in there. That, that, that. That Batman Beyond is kind of cool, but I've never seen the show before, but I love me some Batman, but 80 bucks. Woo! But guys, let's head on home now for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. All right, guys, back home now for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews for you guys. Sorry I only went out to two spots today. I'm just trying to get this video done because I have to, you know, race to a train uh, to, <clears throat> to get down to a special screening of uh, Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, with my, my friend Aaron, so I expect a review of that film, like I said, a little bit later on this week. But I got a nice size stack of stuff here to showcase and talk to you guys about today, so let's get into it. And uh, the first one up is from Scream Factory, and it's a film I've never seen before, and when I got it in, I was like, wait a minute, is this, a, is this the same film from the 90s with, you know, Robert De Niro and stuff like that? I'm like, no, 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 it can't be. And I turned it around, and it's definitely not. And it's a movie called The Fan. Uh, it came out back in 1981, uh, starring uh, Maureen Stapleton and James Garner. And uh, it's pretty much about this one guy um, who's obsessed with this movie star played by, played by Maureen Stapleton, who's like, you know, um, famous for stage and screen. And uh, he's just really obsessed with her, watches all her movies, has like, you know, pictures of her all over his wall in his room and things like that. And, uh, you know, he, he writes to her fan club, like, all the time, like, obsessively, you know, kind of thing. But yet, the person that runs the fan club, which is, uh, you know, Maureen Stapleton's um, ass assistant, doesn't ever reply to him, really. And he gets kind of annoyed with that and takes his obsession to the next, to the next level. Uh, it's actually a really well-done uh, flick right here. I was really glad I, you know, got a chance to... To, you know, to see it and uh, to check it out. And it was definitely not as fast-paced as, like, movies of today. But it, 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 it does really work and it takes its time. And um, I really I really enjoyed this flick right here. It comes with interviews in here by Michael Bean, who's also the guy who plays the obsessed fan, who you guys all know from the original Terminator film. Uh, Michael Bean, you get interviews in here with the director, some of the other people uh, associated with the film, and we also get audio commentary track on here. But, uh, yeah, definitely definitely a fun watch, especially if you guys like movies like The Fan with Robert De Niro or uh, even that new movie uh, that, that just came out with, uh, you know, uh, John Travolta called, uh, it called um, Fanatic. 
But Fnatic is just way out there and crazy. But it's kind of all in that same, you know, same kind of world. So if you like films like that with like crazy fans really obsessing about certain celebrities, you guys might really enjoy this one right here. And the next handful up right here I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And the first one up is a 4K release of Scary Stories uh, to Tell in the Dark, the new Guillermo del Toro uh, flick right here, or, you know, produced flick. And uh, I got a chance to actually sit down and watch this one last night. And it's, it's, a, it's a really new take on, like, a... Um, I, th I thought going into this, I was going to be watching like a horror anthology film, and it kind of sort of is, but not at the same time. It's about these group of friends who, um, you know, are on Halloween night or whatever, uh, they're getting dressed up in costumes, going out, messing around, doing what they do, trick-or-treating and stuff, and then these bullies of this town, you know, come, you know, come by, and, you know, they're like, I'm tired of getting picked on by these guys, and, you know, they kind of bombard their car with like, you know, like a, you know, bags full of poop, and, you know, just like, you know, eggs and things, and, uh, it's pretty much them trying to run away from these, these bad kids, and they come across this house, that's kind of in the middle of nowhere because this, this whole play, this whole town, you know, this whole movie takes place in this small town, and they go, they found this big house that's kind of like off in the you know the darkness, and uh, they kind of know the history of the house and how this one girl that used to live there supposedly hung herself or killed herself uh, in this house, and uh, you know weird kind of thing. And then when they're in this house hiding out, they come across this book, and it's a you know a book of stories. And, uh, but it, it kind of goes into a, a weird different direction when that happens. Uh, I, I'm not going to go any further with it, but I really thought this movie was a lot of fun, really inventive, uh, in the way they, they kind of, they bring you into this. Like, you know, like, like you, you like, like me, I, I was going into this thinking it was going to be like a creep show, you know, kind of thing. Like, once they come across this book, it's going to, they're going to start reading it and it's going to go to a different story, come back to them. And, like, you know, the kids are going to be the wraparound story. No. Nope. They're, they're there throughout the whole time, and uh, I, I really like how they integrated the, the book and the kids and how, you know, and it's just really well done, really dark and atmospheric, Re really, you know, I really did like this one, man, this was really a lot of fun, we get some behind the scenes uh, making of special featurettes on here, uh, we all, you know, just a handful of, like, you know, uh, stuff that you, you normally get on different Blu-rays and 4Ks these days, and it looks absolutely amazing here on, uh, on 4K, and next up right here is a film I saw in theaters, and I just absolutely loved it, so when I got an email saying, Brendan, would you like to, you know, request a copy, I'm like, yes, yes, I would love to get up on this one, and it's the Peanut Butter Falcon, uh, on Blu-ray. I don't believe it's getting a 4K release or anything like that. Uh, but it's pretty much about this uh, young kid named Zach. Uh, he has Down syndrome and he, he's kind of living at this old folks home. And uh, But yet he has dreams and aspirations to become a wrestler and stuff. And, uh, you know, one day he kind of uh, escapes the old folks home and, and goes on the run. You know what I mean? Like runs away. And uh, he comes across uh, Shia LaBeouf's character, who's kind of like, you know, a guy that kind of like lives on the land, you know, kind of thing. And they kind of, be, you know, become friends and go on this wild adventure together. Uh, I love this movie. You know what I mean? This movie just like brought a smile to my face the whole time I was watching it and stuff. I was just really surprised and really just overwhelmed, you know, with the how much I actually really like this movie. And uh, you get like a, a wrestler in here. Uh, an old school WWF uh, wrestler uh, up in here. You could have to watch it to you know see who it is. But uh, it's just it's just really cool to see that person uh, having a having a part in a film like this. Really really dope. Uh, but when it comes to special features on this Blu-ray, it's kind of lacking. All you really get is like a six minute uh, you know behind the scenes feature at you know we're talking to Shia LaBeouf in the cast. You know talking about the, like the making of the movie. It's like six minutes, and the other thing you get is like a trailer and like a little like photo gallery and stuff. It's really kind of lackluster when it comes uh, to special features, but. The movie's amazing, and if you guys have never seen it before, this is probably the one I recommend the most um, out of this stack right here. I absolutely loved it. And I kind of really like this one too, but this next one, but Peanut Butter Falcons are, the, to me, better. But the next one right here is from Lionsgate, also from A24, and it's The Farewell uh, here on Blu-ray. And uh, this is a movie that's like... Uh, Mostly in Mandarin, but it has a little bit of English uh, language in here, so like you'll be reading subtitles and stuff. But it's pretty much a movie that's. Um, it says when the movie opens up, it says it's based on a lie, and uh, it's pretty much about this this family that finds out that their grandmother that lives in Japan uh, is is 
just got diagnosed with like you know lung cancer or something like that, and uh, you know they all are, are they're all going to go down there you know to pretty much say their farewell to say their goodbye. But in the in in the the Japanese culture, I guess um, they don't tell the old people that they're dying. They don't. They, the doctors don't say that you have cancer. You gotta be. You know. You, you gotta. You gotta be dying. So like the whole family is not. You know, not telling this old lady that she's she's dying or anything like that. And uh, except for like the the American girl, the Americanized uh, girl that's you know going down there to visit her her grandmother that she hasn't seen in a long time, really wants to tell her. Like Ma grandma, you 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 have cancer. You're you know kind of thing, and it's just like the whole family dynamic. It's a really, really sad but really funny film. Um, you gotta have to w watch it to find out for yourself. But it's just a really nicely written, real simple, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, you know storytelling. But it, it's done really well, and it ke it kept me engrossed. Uh, in the characters and and keep and to keep watching the film to see you know how how this was all going to unfold uh if you guys um i'm trying to i'm, I'm trying i'm trying to compare this to something but I, I i really can't but it's just all the acting you know the acting is really superb you know throughout the film through all the actors that they have here highly recommend it man both of these films peanut butter falcon and the farewell really really uh surprised me when i when i watch these ones right here definitely give these ones a chance uh on blu-ray when you when you see them in stores and uh next up right here from lionsgate also uh is a film i was kind of kind of you know down to see because i kind of sort of liked the original one uh and, and this is a uh, 47 meters down uncaged and uh, of course the original 47 meters down was originally called uh in the deep and it was released on DVD uh, back in the day for like a real short time, and they pulled it from DVD, you know, from stores and DVD. And Lionsgate bought it and uh, turned it to, to change the name to it to Forty Seven Meters Down, and then shoved it into theaters. It was it was the, it was the weirdest thing that happened with with the original Forty Forty Seven Meters Down with Mandy Moore. But uh, this one right here, the semi sequel, not really a sequel. It's just kind of like taking the name of Forty Seven Meters Down and just making another shark movie. But it's pretty much about these four girls who uh, live on this island, and they break off from the group, go to this special spot that they know that one of the girls knows of, and uh, you know, sharks come, blind sharks come to attack them. Uh, real kind of simple plot, real kind of you know generic, uh, you know kind of shark movie. I really wasn't engrossed. I really wasn't like caring for the characters much. Or anything like that, and the sharks themselves were, were were fine, but I don't know. I didn't find really any of this scary. There's one or two jump scares in here that's kind of worked. You know what I mean? It looks the place that they shot this in was absolutely beautiful, but it's just real generic, and I don't see myself watching this over and over again. If you guys know what I mean. But that's 47 meters down, uncaged. If you like shark movies and you just want anything to do with sharks, I guess you'll like it. But it's definitely no, you know, Jaws or no Deep Blue Sea or anything like that. But uh, next up over here, I believe it's, is this, uh, yeah, this is from Lionsgate also. And this is a, docu a documentary film uh, called uh, Chris Farley, Anything for a Laugh. And this is a documentary about Chris Farley and, you know, how he, you know, became to be one of the biggest, you know, comic icons. Uh, of all time, and you know, it has interviews in here with his, bro you know, his brothers, his family, uh, different comedians that worked with him throughout the years, like David Spade, and um, you even get John Goodman in here uh, talking about how it was working with Chris Farley. It's it's just a if you want to know more about Chris Farley and how he became to be and how he, you know, passed away. All everyone really, you know, that's a fan of him knows how he how he passed away, but it's just you know really sad but at the same time he brought a lot of laughter and love into this world when he was here and i i, I really do appreciate him uh for his contribu his contribution uh to the world so if you're a fan of chris farley like you know tommy boy black sheep the snl stuff that he did definitely yeah, definitely give this one, this this one a chance if you want to know know more about the man and uh, last but not least right here, I got from uh, Via Vision. I think I talked about this uh, a, a couple of months ago, but I, I'm not sure if I did. So I'm just kind of, I'm just showcasing this one again. Uh, and this is a film uh, called Lorenzo's Oil. 
Uh, this is a, a, drama, a drama film that came out back, I believe, in 1992, starring Susan Sarandon and Nick Nolte. Uh, and it's about them, their son, uh, Lorenzo, who uh, has this um, kind of um, this weird disease called, I believe, ALD. And uh, it, it's something that, you know, he's probably going to die, most likely die from. And it's pretty much the family trying to find you know, different ways to maybe find a cure to help their son that has this really alien condition. Uh, it's a really heartbreaking, uh, sad, sad film. Like, if you have to be in the mood to watch a movie like this. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be, like, having, like, a th like you're going to have to have, like, a, a box of handkerchiefs with you, uh, you know, when you, when you watch this flick, you know? And it's actually, um, what I was going to say, produced and directed by George Miller, who you guys all know from the Mad Max, uh, tri you know, uh, franchise. He's the, the guy behind this film also. And uh, it's just one of those, you know, one of those heart really heart-touching films that I recommend, you know, any, any, anybody watch, especially if you are in the mood to cry. You know what I mean? There's sometimes, there's certain days when you watch certain movies, like, eh, I feel like, I feel like a, a movie that will make me cry today. This is definitely going to be one of them if you guys ever, you know, ever do it. Great performances. Just, you know, great execution when it comes to this film right here. Uh, but yeah, this is out from Viravision.com if you guys want to check it out. But guys, that's all I have for you for the review portion of this video. Thank you so much for coming by. And if you guys haven't seen the video I posted this past weekend where I went uh, out of print Blu-ray DVD shopping, definitely check it out. I have a link for it in the description box uh, of this video. I found some really cool stuff there like raw meat, uh, clown house and uh, Dead Alive on Blu-ray, so it's and among, among some others that my friends found too. So make sure you guys check out that video if you guys missed it, and I'll see you guys all next time.